morning guys good morning and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be taking you through my day for those who do not know i am currently a junior school teacher at one of the junior schools in botswana so this video i'm just going to be taking you along and showing you how it's like you know the day-to-day -day activities of being a teacher in africa how we do things how things are so if you're curious about that, hop on to this video and I'll show you guys. So this was just me en route to go to school. This is one of the roads that I use to get to school. And we have arrived so this is my school guys let me turn and unfortunately we don't have packing so you just stop anyway literally but I'm gonna stop here in front of that main block the administration block and yeah welcome this is it hey guys so I just arrived in school right now and <laughs> i'm sorry for my bare face i i'm honestly not a makeup person i'm not even gonna pretend like i am i am not i really put on makeup and besides it's hot can you imagine sweating with all that makeup on <laughs> anyways no hate for the people who do though do you girl um i'm about to head to, to class right now and this is my subject. I'll be going to a form one class. I have two form one classes, but I have one today. And guys, this is the only textbook. Literally the only textbook. And I have it. I'm the only one who has it. Um, can I photocopy this and give to my students? No. Why? Because we don't have, we literally have one printer in the school and most of the time it's out of ink or it's out of, um, it's out of ink or out of what? Out of papers, literally all the time. And then I normally take to class my textbook because this is the one I used to reference all the object objectives. And then I have this, this is, um, a lesson plan. Our school, it's a... It's a must for you to go to class with the lesson plan because the school head or the deputy can pop in any time and request to see your lesson plans and actually make sure that you are following your lesson plans. But that's it. So one test book. And sometimes I want to show my learners a picture on the test book and I can photocopy for them. Even if I was to say I will download the book and send to them online, most of them don't even have internet. They don't even have phones. So it's hard guys but anyways let me not start the day on a bad note let's um, i think i'm still early i have a few more minutes and then we'll leave my car and then go to class join me <laughs> so this is me on my way to class and then these are just classrooms science labs and the multi-purpose hall yeah that's it so yeah that's just my surroundings Ma? Sana? There is no door. Halin, you made this at the end. How are you? I'm fine. You can sit down. So um, this is the start of my class. Today's lesson we're discussing the three branches of government and I just wanted to note something. Um, this is a pavilion, this is a design and technology pavilion which we had to convert into a classroom because of the shortages in classrooms. And if you can listen closely, you can actually hear the other teacher next door in another lesson with another class. And sometimes it's very distracting and it's difficult for learners to concentrate because I'll be trying to teach and then you can hear the teacher next door or the other kids in the other room might be making noise. So it's really a challenge, guys. Thank you. 
And then normally after class, I make sure that I check my learners' notes to see how far they are. And then there's also the time I mark class activities or check any other assignments that I might have given them. But for now, I'm just checking the notes and trying to see the progress of the learners. We are approaching the end of the lesson so I thought maybe I should do a little tour and show you guys some different parts of the school. So this is the computer lab. It is used by both learners and teachers. So if you have any work, we normally come here and use the computers. And then these are our students' lockers, although they don't use them anymore because of vandalism and the lockers are not enough for every learner and yeah, they're no longer being used. And then this is the art lab. I thought I might just drop in for a quick hello. So these are learners. I'm not sure what they're doing there, but it's art stuff. And then at the back there's some like potteries that the students made. And then this is the staff room or the teacher's room. This is normally where teachers we meet and work. And then this is my neighbor. And then that little corner there is my space. Sorry, it's such a mess. Um, and then the student's book that I have to mark there. Unfortunately, it is exam season, so I am marking learner scripts. They wrote a test, and then this is just me marking the papers. And then my neighbor kept on distracting me, as you can see, um, <laughs> marking and at the same time having a chat with her. But yes, also, guys, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So now I'm quickly rushing to my second class. This is my second class of the day and these are my four months. Um, and then here we are having a debate session. This is after we had our lesson content. And then we decided to have a debate because I noticed that they seem to have different opinions on the topic that abortion should be legal. So this is them just discussing the motion. As you can see, I divided them into two groups, those that agree with the motion and those that do not agree with the motion. So I was really impressed with their work. They debated it really good and everybody was involved and very active. I enjoyed it. 
But let me keep quiet so that you can hear some of the points that they raised. Again, Good guys, dinner. this class is also a pavilion no, class. Right. It's actually next door to the first class that I was in. And you can hear a lot of noise in the background because it's close to the design and technology lab. So it becomes really noisy. So I would like to apologize for that. Let's listen to Ahmed. Ahmed, say your share. Sit down, Nutlana, and it's Ahmed's chance. Mm. Wait, I didn't hear the question. Wait, wait. Class is over so I thought I might show you the cooking area or the kitchen. So this is where Lena's meals are prepared. And then this is lunch time. They normally line up under a tree or under a shade because we do not have a dining hall where Lena's can just be served food and sit down and have a proper meal. Instead, they line up here and then they're being dished. Um, so they're divided into different groups, the form 1s, the form 2s, and the form 3s. They'll be on the other side. Yes, these are the form 3s. Thank you for watching the video guys unfortunately i have marking to do i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like to subscribe and leave a comment of what you think down below thank you